So I first got interested in technology when there was a job fair at my high school and we were learning about different types of careers that we could go into as we thought about our college education. Computers really weren't very common back then and it just seemed like a really exciting field to go into and explore. So after looking into it further, I began my education around computers. I started as a programmer. I programmed in a number of different languages and I found that actually we could bring the technology together with business and through that really see how we could help businesses succeed and thrive through the use of technology. 30 years later, that's still the cornerstone of the excitement I get in being in a STEM field. What's kind of inspired me to continue to advance in science is the impact we can have on people's lives around the world. Not only can we use it to accelerate patient care and the types of things we can do from a disease management perspective, but all the way throughout every aspect of our life, technology can really help uplift people and provide new opportunities that they otherwise wouldn't have. It's a very rewarding and fulfilling career to be in. And I find that merging the technology and the science together with humanities really lets us give a very holistic and well-rounded experience to the people we interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. When I first started in college, I was one of five women out of about 104 people in my freshman class. When I look now at the amount of girls I see going into technology, it's really exciting because I think some of the innate skills that we have and the different perspectives that we can offer really will give us a much more holistic and well-rounded approach to business and being able to bring our skills to the table. In so many ways, more women are getting into science and particularly computer information systems or, or computer science, but we're still at the most senior levels, not seeing the advancement. One of the stats that they often talk about is the fact that there's only about 6% female CIOs. So we need to think about how we actually encourage not only more people to go into computer science, but how can we get them to take on bigger leadership roles within their organizations so that we benefit from a more diverse and inclusive environment. I feel really fortunate that I've been able to come up through a STEM career. And then layer on top of that, the people and the human side of leadership. Because it has given me a very well-rounded approach to not only thinking through the logical and reasoning aspects of a job, but marrying that together with the human side of how do we get the most out of people and how do we create environments that allow them to thrive. What's particularly exciting now is the role that technology is playing in really leveraging how we can operate as a company and what kind of strategic advantage we can create. It's the best of both worlds.